these flowers grow I was wishing the world would stop When you said we better go Good evening, my name is Richard Bernier. This evening I'm here with R.L. Clark, a former state senator with the state of North Carolina. And we're here today to discuss buffer zones. R.L., thank you for coming by. Thank you, Richard. You know, Appreciate I, the opportunity. I, I understand this is a an issue that really lays heavy on your heart. It really is, and it should be laying heavy on everybody else that's a property owner, Richard. A absolutely. But you know one thing, R.L., the average citizen out there, they may not watch the uh, Asheville City Council and maybe county commissioners talk about this buffer zone, and they probably think, what is a buffer zone? How about telling us a little bit of background? Well, Richard, even if they look at Asheville City Council and uh, the county commission and the General Assembly in Raleigh, they're not going to know what a buffer zone is. A, a buffer zone goes back, and I want to just for the sake of audience, so that there be no misunderstanding, maybe somebody in the audience would like to look it up. And I want to give you a starting point, is the Clean Water Responsibility and Environmentally Sound Policy Act, enacted as House Bill 458 in 1997. And this laid the groundwork for what's going on today. Uh, buffer zones. Uh, the, the buffer zones can be any width from the uh, bank of an existing stream of water. And I think we need to define what uh, a stream uh, is. I would think most people may think that their little uh, stream in their backyard doesn't count as a stream. So I'm glad you're bringing that up. Okay. Ariel. Uh, it's not just the French Broad River. Uh, it's not uh, one of the tributaries of the uh, French Broad, such as uh, <coughs> the uh, Swannanoa uh, River or any, any of these creeks. Yes, that is a stream of water. But let's just think for a moment. The North Carolina Department of Environment and natural resources, and I want to be right up front in uh, the General Assembly as a member of the State Senate, I was on the Agriculture, Environment, and Natural Resources Committee uh, that helped to develop this uh, legislation in 1997, and it was ramrodded through the General Assembly because of the uh, hog farms in eastern North Carolina. And that's where all of the uh, trash uh, was developed in this bill that's affecting the mountain counties. Now, if so many people in western North Carolina live on a uh, hillside, mm -hmm. okay, a stream is defined uh, as a running stream of water of any size. It is an intermittent stream that just flows occasionally during the wet season of the year. It can even be a wet weather spring or to take it one step farther, the law defines it as if you have storm water running down the side of a mountain, maybe ever five or six years or seven or ever how many uh, in the event of major rains a gully that goes down the hillside that maybe doesn't have water in it except every five years. Mm -hmm. That is defined as a stream. Wow. I wonder if people know that. There, there won't be one in 10,000 that will know this. And what the Asheville City Council recently did, they concentrated and focused on areas that are being developed and emphasize the sediment uh, runoff from uh, these areas of development. But, folks, listen carefully to my voice this evening. A buffer zone, 
that was enacted by the city of Asheville is for the entire city of Asheville. It's for an uh, area slated to be annexed, and it's for the ETJ even, uh, and ETJ is defined as extraterritorial jurisdiction that a city has of up to one mile as the crow flies. Not only uh, the currently annexed areas, those proposed to be annexed, and when the proposed annexations take place, then it's extended another mile beyond that. Well, Ariel, I, I, let me just touch base on this because I'm sure there's some folks sitting out there right now wondering about the proposed annex area. You know, there's some people slated to be annexed, and they know it. You know, right now, you know, Biltmore Park is in their issue, so uh, those folks will fall definitely, they are already in this buffer zone. Is that That's what you're saying? That's correct. That's wow. correct. If they're within one, well, they would be in the uh, uh, buffer zone automatically. Automatically, yes. When the uh, ordinance was passed. But as soon as they're annexed, then it will extend another mile, one mile. outside, which is going to get a major part of Buncombe County. And the tragic part, Richard, I feel that the city council was deceptive in their presentations of what uh, a buffer zone is. As I said uh, just a couple of minutes ago, they, they concentrated on the construction areas, uh, the uh, sedimentation runoff. But once these buffer zones are fully implemented and they start uh, policing, they're going to have a uh, gotcha police that, that's coming along and people think it has to do only with the stream. A 30-foot buffer zone with anyone adjoining a stream or an intermittent stream or uh, a gully runoff is not permitted according to state law and these have been implemented already to even mow your lawn. If your lawn goes up to a st stream, you cannot mow within 30 feet of that stream. Now that also, RL, would apply to your neighbor as well. If he has a stream on his property side and it's close to the property boundary line of your property, it would affect your property. So it doesn't Abs stop. It doesn't stop just because there's a property line. That's correct. Right. Uh, property line uh, has nothing to do with it. Okay. And and folks, it's a disaster. To me, it's totally unconstitutional what has been implemented across the state of North Carolina because the U.S. Constitution guarantees private property rights. If private property is taken uh, for public purposes, the landowner is uh, supposed to be, according to the Constitution, uh, provided just and fair compensation for the taking. Mm -hmm. But a buffer zone, you get nothing for not being able to use your 30, 60, ever how many feet it might be. And we and we go back to 30 feet, maybe uh, 30 feet for one person, but the next door neighbor, it might be 75 or 80 feet because the degree of uh, slope elevation has oh. to be taken into account. You know, I don't think anybody's aware of that because I didn't know it until you just said that. And it can extend, there's no limit on how far the buffer can extend because of the uh, extreme slope uh, In uh, elevation. Yeah.